Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Fantastic news, fantastic piece of news here, my friends. Hamas has offered to free hostages. Yeah, it's great news. Now, I wonder what they receive in, re in return. No more bombs or uh, they receive something else. Well, let's discuss this article that comes from Russia today. Today on the 26th of October 2023. Oh, that's, that's a very interesting piece of information. Russia today. Hamas has offered to free hostages. Iranian foreign minister. Civilian captives could be transferred to Iran with Turkish and Qatari help, according to media reports. The Palestinian military group, militant group Hamas is willing to release non-combatants. It has held captives since October 7th. Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdullahian revealed on Thursday. According to our I'm quoting, according to our negotiations, Hamas is ready to release civilian prisoners. He said at the UN General Assembly, as cited by the national and UAE-based outlet. And I'm quoting again. On the other hand, the world should support the release of 6,000 Palestinians held in Israeli prisons. Where are they held over there? The Lebanon, is it the, the reason why uh, Nelson Mandela was held by the South African government? You know, there's two stories, right? One that the, we're told about Nelson Mandela and the other one that completes that one. Okay, now, uh, <clears throat> all right, the one with uh, children buses is the one that is not told. And the one just because he fought the apartheid regime in South Africa is the original ignoring the other side. Well, you check out. Why don't you go and check out and see uh, why Nelson Mandela was arrested and imprisoned? And what were the, the heads of uh, whatever the conviction? Just go, and go ahead. All right. I triple dare you. The Lebanon-based al Mayadin reported that Hamas would be willing to work with Turkey and Qatar to facilitate the transfer of hostages into Iranian custody. It was not clear whether this release would be unilateral or in exchange for the jailed Palestinians. Amir Abdullahian announced announcement came just hours after his deputy Ali Bakheri had talks with Russian counterparts in Moscow, which focused on the need for a ceasefire in and around the Gaza Strip and the prompt, prompt provision of humanitarian aid to the affected Palestinian population, according to the Russian Foreign Ministry. I just uh, uploaded a video a minute ago uh, where the Hamas delegation met a Iranian representative in Moscow or they are over there and they're gonna do some hanky-panky it seems like this is the conclusion or a lot of things might happen at the same time Russia's special envoy to the Middle East Mikhail Bogdanov and Bagheri agreed to and I'm quoting closely coordinate efforts to stabilize the situation in the region the ministry added that's fantastic meanwhile a high-ranking Hamas delegation was also in Moscow what was I telling you and to discuss the hostage issue, Musa Abu Marzouk, a senior member of the group's political council, led the team that discussed the release of hostages and evacuation of Russian and other foreign nationals from Gaza. Foreign Minister Spokeswoman, finally, Maria Zakharova. I covered um, another article and over there they called her. I'm going to show you the article right here. And this is the article I covered and they used citing Maria Zakharova, the spokeswoman right here. But then they called her Maria Zakharova, the spokes, uh, whatever, spokes, uh, where is she? Spokesperson, right here. Spokesperson. Which one is it, my friends? What the hell? I know it's a woman. She's a woman, but anyway. So, it says, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova confirmed the visit by Marzuk and Bagheri at the regular press briefing on Thursday, promising, and I'm quoting, additional information once it is available. Israel has announced the Hamas mission, mission to Moscow and demanded Russia immediately expel them. So how in the fuck you want to solve a problem if you don't communicate? Unless 
you just want to flatten things out and that's how you solve the problem and you don't need anybody else and then they say when the uh, what's his name Guterres the United uh, Nations Secretary General has said that ah, those Hamas attacks did not happen in a in uh, vacuum the Israeli delegation just exploded <laughs> and then how I mean look at this they don't want to talk with the guys how are you gonna solve the problem I told you I think I just did all right so Hamas took more than 200 captives my friends and it says here that according to Hamas 50 hostages have been killed by Israeli strikes so far along with more than 7,000 Palestinians and uh, by the way uh, Biden denies uh, the I don't know, the, the statement he doesn't believe the Palestinians that uh, there were 7,000 Palestinians dead. He said, I don't believe the Palestinians, but I believe the, the other side. Just because they told me or they said, hey, you know what? Uh, some children were bah, 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 over there. Oh, yeah, I saw them. I saw the evidence. My friends, when you, ex when you present evidence, <laughs> you ask the other side to prevent, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, uh, defend it or uh, present counter evidence but hey that's not the way uh, I remember our civilization used to work I mean I know in the past and some people still think that way but and function that way with collective punishment and destroying a family to I don't know how many generations because one person in the family committed a crime six generations ago you flatten the you bulldoze the the house and so on some people still go by those kind of laws coming from a perfect being or entity thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just